Hi guys and welcome back to Rulundi. We have to, we seem to have a lot of people that uh, don't necessarily believe I can win this campaign and or this mission I should say, and they could be right. For those of you that are new here, you should definitely watch part one. But essentially, this is trying to get revenge for what the Zulu did to the British at Islandwana. Um, I have no idea if this is going to work, but we're going to try our best. So first things first, I'm going to open fire on the Indian warriors. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just throw a nice volley down their way. We're going to do the same with this unit here. Even though with a charge, we have 1% higher chance of winning. That to me, that's not enough. Um, quite frankly, it just isn't. So I'm also going to move these guys here. I hope they can shift. If not, that's the best we can do. Um, for the rest of our guys, obviously, we could try and turn with Baker's Horse. Open fire on the enemy. Open fire again on the enemy. Move forward, open fire again on the enemy, and this time I'm going to actually turn towards them. We have to work these guys down little by little. That's the only way we're going to win this battle. There's no other way. And it sucks, but this is the way to victory. So we may have to receive some charges. That's probably going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and open up the Gatling gun on this uh, fragmented unit. 14 breaks beautiful so we got one unit to break that's actually a big achievement guys it really is i'm gonna move up the drovers and teamsters now these guys are not made for this kind of warfare and it, it shows in terms of their ability we're still going to continue the fight and we're more especially going to focus our fire on this unit the ududu musketeers as much as we can but we also have this unit over here. I'm going to turn towards them and open fire. And let's see. We would actually win this fight, so I'm going to actually get into a charge of them. Um, I feel confident we can win. It's going to be a tough one, but we can especially hit the enemy here in the flank. And as you can see, he's already disrupted. We're going to turn this way with the Dragoon Guards. Open fire. And with these guys, open fire. 27. Open fire. Guys, at this point, we're trying to hold this particular this particular area. It's not going to be easy, not even a little bit, but we've got to do everything we can. So we already shot this turn against most of these enemies. Uh, I'm going to keep on firing at the disrupted ones. Fragmented, maybe we can break them. And remember, they're coming at us with the uh, Ox Maneuver, which I believe is them attacking on all sides. Uh, it's not easy to stop, but we're going to try. We're really going for those units that are wounded fragmented there we go baby and uh doing our best to just get the best outcome possible i'm going to try to open fire on one of the fragmented units might not work if not we'll open fire on oh there we go mounted scouts are fragmented take some artillery damage doesn't look like they're going to take a lot and we still have these guys actually going to the east to assist and we need them i mean we need everybody we can get really um Thankfully, our drovers, teamsters, the rest of these guys are way back uh, behind the lines. We're going to go ahead and unlimber this battery. Hopefully, we get that artillery support soon. Uh, I am going to move the commissariat forward, and I don't think I can get a shot because we've got a lot of enemies in front of us, but damn, guys, the Zulu always come ready, and they always come heavy. Uh, for those of you that don't know what come heavy means, I hope you do, um, and this time, let's hope we can beat them. So we're going to end the turn. We're turning it over to the Zulu. Let's hope we can get some decent shots. There we go. 24 auto breaks. Beautiful. That was a beautiful auto break. Guys on top of the hill managed to route them. 29 disrupted, guys. That's a major hit with our artillery. And believe me, in this battle, our artillery means a lot. We also have to make sure that our native warriors are able to beat the Zulu. So we'll let them route. 7% of their troops are routing, and now they're going to start moving. There we go. Come on, boys. Enemy's going to charge. They dispersed our Gatling guns. They completely took our Gatling guns out. They're also breaking our line. This is a serious issue, guys, and a flank attack against our guys. Hopefully they can turn around and fight the enemy here.
and the Zulu do have rifles. We've talked about this in many of our Let's Plays. The British pacified the Zulu with rifles, so they, they know how to shoot guns. They know how to use them. A lot easier to hunt animals when you're using rifles, and the Zulu know that now. So they have no lack of good sharpshooters here, and you've got to keep that in mind. Yes, they are mainly a melee, you know, army, but in general... These guys can get into a fight with a gun gunfighter any day or gunfighter any day and manage. To win. Now I think here on the left side we're actually doing very well. If we can keep this up, we can break another Zulu battalion and really improve our chances of victory. Remember, all it takes is 40%, but as you can see, it's already starting to disrupt. We're already getting some issues. 7% of the Zulu are running, but look how many of them there are, and they have engaged in their uh, strategy. So we have managed to break another unit. That's great. Shoot him a few more times, but as you can see, a few Zulus charging, and our men have to switch to bayonets, and this is a much more difficult fight, guys. So a lot of enemies retreating, and that may seem like a good thing, but, you know, we have, we are now meeting the the Zulu tribe itself. We're meeting the massive army that is the Zulu, and one of the reasons they win is because of numbers. I mean, they are incredible. Um, sort of like the orcs in Warhammer, um, you know, militarily, they are able to just overwhelm their enemies, and their tactics are not anything to laugh at. I mean, their tactics work, and essentially their tactics are to flank the enemy on both sides, uh, provide a strong center, and crush them. I mean, and as you can see in this battle, it's working pretty damn well, uh, to be honest with you guys. So we're going to, of course, return fire. A lot of our men are, and look at that, already one of our units broke. That's going to be C Company. I'm not happy with that. They're going to charge the Lancers. The Lancers are disrupted already just with that attack, and it's now our turn, my friends. Time for the Empire to win a battle. Let's put it that way. So first things first, I'm going to, of course, start firing at the Udoklo Warriors. We've already fragmented them. I'm going to bring the Indingele contingent. Try to get a perfect shot there on the enemy. 22. They should have already broken, but they're strong warriors. So I'm not too surprised. And we're going to have to focus fire on these guys, unfortunately. I really wanted to keep focusing fire on the enemy there, but I think this is the only way we can beat them. And already, they are putting up some swift resistance. They're not even disrupted at all. And we've taken a bunch of shots at these Udoklo warriors. Uh, let's bring the Commissariat up. They can fire at the destructive units here, the Unenke warriors. Disrupted. It's a start. And actually, we're going to go with a bayonet charge downhill, guys. I don't think we have an option, um, especially since the enemy is... Quite strong in this region, so we're going to try to hold this area. We've already disrupted another group of guys, and I'm almost willing to turn these guys around. The only reason I'm not is because I see this massive Zulu horde here, so I'm going to continue the attack. Uh, let's go ahead. Fire. 19. Turn towards him. Open fire. Of course, the freaking musketeers are going to hit us really hard. Um, let's move the Frontier Light Horse forward. Open fire at those guys and at this point we're just doing our best to break the enemy so i'm gonna go ahead and turn towards the enemy fire on the flank and we've disrupted them yes this might be crazy but it's really our only chance um i'm also going to charge i think at this point bayonets are necessary if we want to even get close to a victory um let's go ahead and move these guys here get another shot on the enemy but i don't think it's gonna make a big difference Bring our cavalry forward, fire on that guy. We actually should have probably fired on the disrupted guy. So we're going to open fire on them with the mech cannons now if we can. Doesn't look like that's a possibility. The Royal Artillery is pretty much unable to do anything. Um, so at this point, what do we do? Well, I think we turn the engineers this way and we start moving forward. Of course, we fire at the enemy because they're going to go for a flank attack next turn. And let's see if the artillery can also turn. Now, they won't be able to shoot this turn, but at the very least, they've actually, you know, moved a little bit to get into position of the enemy. We've used just about everybody we can. Now, of course, we want to go for the disrupted units here. 
I don't see how this battle is winnable unless we get some reinforcements. And we are going to go for a charge, guys. Bayonets. Yes, sometimes you've got to go directly into the enemy to get a victory. And this may be one of those times. With this guy, we're just going to open fire. With this guy, we can probably get another nice shot on the enemy. Let's open fire directly at the guy closest to us. Uh, once again, open fire. 44. That's an exceptional amount of men down. The native contingent can probably get a few hits. Despite not being in the best position, I'm going to go ahead and order them to also open fire. And hopefully, guys, this is the road to victory. Of course, we'll end the turn here, turn it over to the Zulu. And I don't expect much, uh, much peace coming from this, to be honest with you. So as you can see, they're totally going for the massive attack. Now, we managed to break one of their units, which is a really great thing, especially since we're using Dragoon Guards. We might be able to break some more of their units because they're starting to lose their confidence. But as you can see over here, they've broken some of our Dragoons. Some of their units are rallying. This is not good. Um, thankfully, some of their units are dispersing, so they know the futility of the fight. Even if they win, they're going to lose so many men against a trained British force. But we've got to do our best here, guys. Enemy disperse. Beautiful. That's going to help us. We still got that 6%. And we broke another enemy, guys, with bayonet combat. That's what we're looking for, my friends. So another group of enemies, of course, broken. We're, the other enemies are kind of evading us. Another disrupted enemy. So our cavalry is doing a pretty good uh, job. But now, of course, it's the zoo turn to start moving. Oh, yeah. We were disrupted badly there. Those were our native auxiliaries. They're not doing so hot. Uh, but we are getting a lot of disrupted units. Both our units and the enemy units. I mean, we're definitely trying to change the tide of this battle. Enemy unit one, five to 11, come on. They are attacking us on the flank, and I was worried about this, but this is unfortunately part of the game, guys. Good shooting, man. Auto brakes, that's a beautiful volley, and you can see right there the power of the British sharpshooters. I mean, it's an excellent volley. Unfortunately, we broke here, which we shouldn't have. ENF Company have broken. They're being chased by Indondlo warriors, and we're also getting charged here. Our men have made use of their bayonets before, and maybe they can make use of them again. Nonetheless, this definitely puts our entire mission in jeopardy. Um, and we broke here. My goodness, guys, it's all going to hell. Very even shot there, but of course, the enemy does have the advantage. We might have to send the engineers into close combat. Believe me, they've got the training to accomplish the mission, but it's not going to be easy. Residual shooting phase, this is where we can shine, my friends. Come on, boys. Disrupting the enemy. Pretty good. Always use those bayonets properly. Right there, we lost another unit, and this time of Lancers. I didn't want to lose the Lancers, but I kind of knew I would. And actually, we managed to break an enemy unit. Our own native guard managed to break an enemy unit, so they are not worth nothing. They definitely know what they're doing. Of course, in this kind of fight, it's going to be tough no matter what you do. Enemy unit fragmented. Those bayonets certainly worked. And hopefully some of our units will rally. Because we are getting a lot of the enemy here. If we can beat them, we can win, my friends. It's definitely possible. 
Um, it's going to take a lot of work, but I think it's definitely, definitely possible. Um, in fact, I'm going to turn towards the enemy with the fire. Turn towards the enemy over here with the wonderful ill indeed contingent. Uh, turn towards the enemy this way. I hope we can see them on top of the hill. And maybe with one more volley from our cannons. Come on, that should have broken them. That absolutely should have broken them. All right, we'll bring in Baker's horse. Wow, they don't want to break, guys. Um, the enemy here is more than aware of their position in this fight. And uh, that's going to make things very tough because they're actually doing an okay job. Uh, nonetheless, you guys always know the rule with these fights, and that is please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will get into the next part of the fight very, very soon. Um, and in fact, even with our charge of the Royal Engineers, I think we can get a victory here. They're already disrupted. That's not good. But let's hope for the best, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Keep hitting that like button, subscribe if you're new, and take a look at all our other strategy battles. And also, add me on VidMe. Really does help the channel. Take care, my friends.